Hello, it's Ruth, and today I'm talking about what coaching is. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you. It's all things business, all things mindset, quite a lot of coaching. Click here to subscribe. Hi, it's Ruth, and today I'm talking about what coaching is. So it seems that everywhere we look, there are coaches, but what is a coach? So coaching in its essence is about a forward-thinking approach. So if you think about consultancy here, coaching is on the other side. So consultancy is telling, coaching is working with your client to help them raise their self-awareness so they can find their answers. So it is about looking to the future. You don't spend a lot of time in the past. The only time in coaching when you go to the past is when you look at beliefs, when you look at things that might have been formed a long time ago. You go to the past then a little bit, but it's not about therapy, it's not about counselling, it's not about overcoming trauma, it's about looking forward. So what I love about it is that it's very action focused. After a coaching session, your client will go away with actions that they're going to take. And they're not actions that you've given them, they're actions that they have decided over the course of that session that are gonna move them forward. So coaching is goal focused. If you do not know where you're going, coaching cannot help you. If you know where you're going, either with a goal or if you know how you want to feel, then you can be coached. So coaching is about helping you move towards that goal. It's about uncovering all of the things that are going on for you and about helping you make consistent changes to your life. It's about keeping you accountable so you do what you say that you're going to do. And it's about raising your self-awareness. So if you're not doing things, you're starting to identify why. So coaching fundamentally uses open questions. What, when, who, how, and sometimes why, although they do tell you in coach training not to use why. And there's lots and lots of different approaches. You have normative approaches to coaching, which use models, things like GROW. These are kind of basic approaches to coaching, but they can work really, really well. So you're taken from your goal, to your reality, to your opportunities, and then you look at ways forward. And that's a very popular approach. Or you can move into more relational coaching, which is what I do. When you're led by the client and you're really listening and asking the right questions. And as somebody who's got a background in psychology and I've done a lot of training kind of psychodynamic approaches and psychoanalytical approaches, I find relational works best because you're listening for the client rather than taking them through a model, you're more in tune of what's going on with the client. So you can have a look at all the different types of coaching and understand which one's gonna work best for you and work best with your clients. A good coach can adapt to their clients, but coaching is not mentoring. Coaching is not telling, coaching is not directive, it's non-directive and it's about raising self-awareness. And it works. People who work with coaches are more likely to achieve their goals. But it's not a magic wand. If you want to benefit from coaching, you have to do the work too. And it's very much driven by the client doing the work, but the coach helping them take, make those changes. So to find out more about coaching, look at my downloadable here and to sign up to my YouTube channel and subscribe to all of my videos, coaching, business, mindset and strategy, click here.